two weeks but we're back we've got a schedule going on now god help us <laughs> anyways how's the weather like how's the, your week been i know the week has been somehow somehow with the old rain. rain and wind all of that but hopefully despite all of that you've had a wonderful week and you know hopefully your weekend will be great so let's just go straight into the video, video. so today we'll be talking about back to school giving you guys some advice and tips yep. on how to go back to school and you know things that we think might help you and we're pretty much talking to ourselves as well while talking to you so yeah <laughs> hopefully you guys will enjoy it yeah so, right to in. start with i would say number one you know you need to have proper school supplies mm. okay you need to be able to just go to class and know that you've got your pen, your notebooks, your folders. You know, you don't want to go to class, like, returning back to school and be like, I don't have a pen. Can I have a pen? Can I have a paper? <laughs> no. You don't, you're not going to look, really, like, you know, professional or anything like that. You want to be able to look professional and, you know, stand out from others. Like, yeah, I've got my stuff all together, okay? <laughs> I have my stuff together. Yeah. So, that's I think um, with supplies too, um, your supply depends on the kind of course you're studying. Mm. So the supply I would need will probably be different from the supply she needs or your friend or your even your sister, your brother. So you need to know the supply that is um, um, needed for you because there's no point getting the supply that you do not need. That's going to be a waste of resources. Exactly. So you need to know the supply that is meant, the school supply that is meant for you mm. and get them on time yeah another thing i would say is obviously have folders as well this goes with that as well yeah. you know have different folders for each subject because yeah. i made a mistake of that in my undergrad and you know i had a folder for all my subjects and let's say i had six modules <laughs> they were all in one folder oh my god you can imagine the workload <laughs> like wanting to go back to one subject you have to be going flipping flipping <laughs> and it just no it's boom. okay <laughs> you don't want that i don't want that for any one of you guys so just make sure you have a different folder for every subject it will make life so much more easier and it will make you organize as well yeah yeah it will teach you a lot about organization yeah so something else another advice is to also know your schedule like have a Ooh. schedule and stuff like that you know you need to be able to say okay today i have this subject tomorrow i have this oh the next day after that i have work you know you need to be able to have a schedule for work for school you know for home you know if you're at uni and you're living by yourself and you want to visit home you have to have a schedule for that as well so it all kind of just it makes life balance for you yeah so i mean I have, have, having a schedule is, is important you need to know because i mean like for working students like us it helps us to plan mm. i know when i'm need to be in school i know when i need to be at work yeah. i know when i have a presentation I, I know when i need to be somewhere else some kind of training it helps you because when you have a schedule and i mean life is unpredictable and then something sure. happens you'll be able to know where to slot in the unforeseen event yeah. in but when you do not even have a schedule or a plan and then an unforeseen circumstance comes up it's going to even throw you more of balance and you don't want to put yourself in that kind of position so having a plan knowing your schedule knowing your timetable is really important i mean this whole back to school advice is not just for we uni students yeah this also goes for secondary school students high school college primary school i mean if you're in primary school they also let you know your schedule at least to a large extent yeah. you can tell your parents you know i'm saying what your school schedule is like they need to be at your school for certain yeah. dates you'll be able to plan with their own work schedule life family plans exactly. where to fit in your school so planning knowing your schedule knowing your timetable is really important yeah. and i think this kind of leads me to have a budget yes life is easier when you have a budget <laughs> yes. because money is involved in everything Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean you need if you're probably receiving still receiving money from your parents or you're paying for school yourself, 
you're living in your parents' house, or you're living in a house where you pay for, whatever the case may be, money is involved. Yes. And you need to have a budget. How much will I spend on bills per month? How much do yeah. I spend on food? How much do I spend on shopping? How much do I spend on groceries? How much do I spend on night outs? You know, all of these things are important. I mean, if your, your um, income will not accommodate you having a night out five times a week, don't yeah. do it. That means when more important things come up, you, you will might have, have no to money. sacrifice heavenly dessert. <laughs> <laughs> you might just have to sacrifice heavenly dessert. I know. TGI Fridays and all of that good stuff. Okay? Exactly. So just make the sacrifice. I and mean, then you need to have, you really, really need to have a budget. Like personally, I used to have a problem with shopping. I'm always shopping. I'm always buying something. And here I'm thinking, I can't be serious right now, am I? I mean, I need money to do other things for school. And by the time I spend all my money on shopping, what's left? What's left? <laughs> so I had, I, had, I had to seriously pray like, God, you need to take out this thing from my life. And then God step people into my life to help me. So once in a while, I'm talking about, oh my God. When I'm talking <laughs> about, oh, I don't want to get this, people are like, no. What you want to get it? You've got something exactly similar to me. Exactly. So, so what exactly do you need it for? What I'm trying to say is, identify those things in your life that are really tempting, mm -hmm. that you can, you can tend to spend so much money on. Jim say help, pray, God will help you. Um, what I'm just trying to say is, a budget is really, really, really important. I mean, you don't want to waste your money, and then find yourself in a gridlock at school. Yeah. Don't want that. Well. Mm -hmm. And also another advice would be, obviously, you need to know what is expected of you. I mean, yeah. everybody has expectations, you know, the school is going to have expectations, yeah. you know, your parents are going to have expectations, Yeah. but you need to have, you need to know what the school expects of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're all going to be at different stages, different levels. So obviously the level that university students are going to have is different to obviously the stage in secondary school. Yeah. So your expectations are going to be different. So mm -hmm. you need to know what the school expects of you. Okay, so for example, uni, your level of work, obviously, you're going to have to put references and all of that. Whereas in secondary school, all of that is not really important. It's yeah. not really asked for. Yeah. So obviously, that's a different level. So mm -hmm. you need to know what is definitely expected of you. You need to have a sit down with your lecturers and stuff, stuff like that. You need to just... Yeah, I, I think that that's also it's, it's a good point. What I was going to say is you need to set a goal for yourself. And before I even get to do setting a goal for yourself, you need to know how you're going to be assessed. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like for us in uni, yes. we're assessed through reports and essays. So you need to know, okay, this is the type of assessment I will be using this time I'm going back to school. Mm. What days I'm expected to turn in those assignments. You need to know all of those things. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Because even with different in the module alone, we can have three different, different types of assessments yes. that carry different marks. <laughs> so you need to know all of those things. You need to plan them. And you need to, so if there's any form of assessment you're not really good at, you'll be able to um, improve yourself. Learn about yeah, that form when of you assessment. find out all of your different assessments. You're able to do that form of assessment that you are not really good at or you have no idea what it is about. Then you'll be able to improve yourself, learn about it, so you'll be able to give you your best in work and bring out your full potentials. Now that leads me to setting goals. Life is is is, is good and it's attractive when you're goal oriented. You set goals for yourself. Yeah. And the thing about setting goals is we're all at different levels. I mean our cognitive strengths are different. Which I'm trying to say what 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 the, what the level we will operate is different. Like our African parents or in Africa, they will always say, not everybody's head is fit for school. Mm -hmm. So basically saying the same thing that we're all not the same, we're all different. But whatever level you've found out, where whatever level you are at, set a goal that is above. above. Mm -hmm. So that when unforeseen circumstances happen, it just drops you here. So you'll be all right. But when you're setting a goal that is just right on the same level with you, when those circumstances happen, it drops. And then you fall below the average. Yeah. So think big. I mean, have a bigger picture. Jim you know trying to say? It helps you. I mean, the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Look at the bigger picture. Let your goals be big. So even everything at all is going to obstruct it or just anything you did not plan for me not everything in life we can see mm. it only just brings it back to jim you know saying the normal level where you are so yeah set goals for yourself yes. in school it is yes. good
Shut up. Mm-hmm. And above all else, mm-hmm. have God. You need to pray. Yes. Pray your way into going back to school. I mean, what sets you aside from the normal student going back to school is that you're a Christian. Exactly. I mean, and that's you plus God. They're mm. just going themselves. That mm. is you plus God. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, and they say two heads are better than one. Yes. And we have a God that I means that is <laughs> above, all, above else. all else. So, just imagine. So, you need to pray. Commit your going back to school into God's hand. Because trust me, you need all the help you, need, you can get from God. You need all the wisdom. Yes. All the knowledge, all the understanding, all the success, all the everything. everything. And you need the Holy Spirit. Yes. Especially, for, especially the Holy Spirit to keep you from those friends mm. that are out there to mm-hmm. just draw you back. And you know, no, go, knowing to go into that building <laughs> and when not to go. Okay, and then, It's not everywhere that you need to be. Exactly. Okay? And the Holy Spirit will guide you. Okay. Yeah. So you just, you just really need, because you can have a great plan. Be organized, have all of your school supplies, be in control. You know I'm saying have a, um, a checklist of your progress, and then you have bad company. I mean, it's just gonna pull you back. Then all of your efforts, all of your planning was in vain, and exactly. it, that wouldn't be really nice. So yeah. have God, have God as you go back to school. Yes. yes. And before we round up, yes. what have we got new on this? <gasps> we have an Instagram account. Woo! Woo! Yes, <laughs> yes, guys. I will leave the description. I will leave the link down in the description box so you guys go check it out. Go support us on there. Follow, share. You know the juice. Do all the stuff. You know, branch us out, people. You I know, know, help us grow. Okay, before we say our goodbyes. Okay, guys, let us set a goal for Shayla's. Okay, Amen. help us reach. 100 subscribers before the end of this year. Amen. Yes. <laughs> I receive it. Of course I You did. guys receive it. Yeah. So let us make it happen, okay? Amen. Anything is possible, okay? If we set our mind to it. So let's do it. Let's yeah, do it. So I think, and the name of our Instagram page is Shaley. It's the same. Same thing. Same, same old thing. So, so yeah. And um, we will see you same place next time. Bye. Bye.